Hi, greetings from the land of happiness. My name is Tawang Yudin and I did my graduation from Royal Tempu College with a degree in Bachelor's of Business Administration. Right after graduation last year, that was in June 2013, I interned with Renew and Renew is a non-governmental organization in Bhutan, uh, which supports and helps women and child. As an intern, I worked as a coordinator for the youth volunteers in community outreach department. To talk about the teaching and teaching experiences, last year when I freshly graduated, I apl applied in many schools uh, here in Thimpu, but then back then I was not that confident and prepared to become a teacher. But now, after receiving a four-month teaching training from Institute of Management Studies, I think I am quite ready to take up this teaching profession. IMS, that is Institute of Management Studies, has really helped me in developing my teaching skills and techniques. Uh, when I was undertaking the teaching training at IMS, I was sent to one of the schools in Thimpu, where I taught English to class 8 students. And that one month teaching experience has helped me in understanding the teaching field, and I must say I enjoy teaching. Uh, to educate child with good values and benefit the society that I live in is the motto for my life. And the reason I have applied to teach in Thailand is also to experience the different tradition, values and culture that different places have and also to get the exposure. If given the opportunity to teach in Thailand, I will serve with full dedication and sincerity and try and be the re reliable employee that any organization would seek for. Thank you and Tashidele. Good morning, let me begin with my micro teaching. Assume that you all are in class 8 and I'm teaching you all English subject. Okay, good morning class, I hope you had a great weekend. Today our lesson will be regarding introduction to 8 part of speech. There are 8 part of speech. They are, they are nouns, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. Every word that we come across in our day-to-day -day life and day-to-day -day activities falls under this eight part of speech. And today, we will be dealing only with the noun. And, okay, class, can anyone define what noun is? Or can anyone say the meaning of the noun? Yes, you are right, name. Yes, noun refers to the name given to the places, people, and things, and items. And under noun, there are four categories, and they are the first one is proper noun. Okay, proper noun here refers to the uh, proper noun refers to the specific name that is given to the people, places, and things. For example, uh, like my name is Tom Lee, so that that name specifies me. And the marker here. It, this is a blue marker. So that name is given, the marker is name given to this thing. So this is the name of a thing, thing. And the second one is common noun. Common noun. And what do you think is common noun? Common noun. Any idea? Okay, let me immediately define the common noun. Common noun refers to the name that does not specify anyone or anything. It just talks about general. For example, women. When I say women, it directly gives the meaning of, it does not specify any person or a place, right? It just says women. So there is no specification. And for example, like countries and cities, that are also some of the examples of common law. And the third one is collective noun. Yeah, by the name itself, we can understand that collective noun refers to a name that is given to a group or a thing. Group of a people or a thing or a place. For example, like family. When I say family, one individual don't make family, right? In family, we have father, mother, and your siblings. So all these people make up family. So one example can be one example for collective noun can be family or either team. Like in team, there are many members. And the last one to follow is this. Possessive 
noun. These positive nouns are those nouns that uh, that shows your ownership. For example, when I say like woman's back, when I say woman's back, what does it show? It shows ownership, like right? like the that bag is owned by that woman. And when I say buildings doorbell, it also shows the ownership, the doorbell that belongs to the to that particular building. So these are the four different types of noun we have learned today. So anyone who can summarize what we have learned today? Yes. We have today we have introduced we have been introduced to the eight parts of speech and there are eight different parts of speech like noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. And we have learned noun, right? Noun basically refers to the name of a place, event, things, and ideas and even the person's name. So the, under noun, there are four different categories, proper noun, common noun, and collective noun policy. And class today, I will be giving you classwork, like what you will do today is bring different, different, write down different, different examples for each different types of noun. Can you do it right now? Okay. And tomorrow, we will be studying about the pronoun and verb. That's all for my micro Thank you.